And so we're going to be counting combinations of objects now. Combinations of objects works a lot like permutations. The difference is that order just doesn't matter. Now I've been dealt five cards from a 52 card deck and there are a variety of ways I could be dealt these five cards. When we dealt with permutations we knew the first card there were 52 choices and for the second card there were 51, third card 50, fourth 49, and fifth 48 and so we said the possible permutations or ways I could be dealt this deck if order matters were 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48. More realistically though when we're dealing with cards, we don't care what order we're dealt the cards. It may affect how we play them, but it doesn't affect how we score them. And so this combination is exactly the same as that combination. And so we're going to develop the mathematical tools to deal with the fact that we're not interested in the number of permutations. We're only interested in the number of combinations that are possible to be dealt with five cards from a 52-card deck.